Right guys, back once again with another video and today I wanted to just uh, discuss something that I've discovered with the Amigo sampler. A couple of bits really. Um, now obviously this is not a video that's out to kind of put Amigo sampler down, just more for a bit of feedback and just try and find out if anybody else in the community uh, that uses it has discovered any of these little uh, uh, issues that I'm having here with it now and also is there a solution um, now I've gone to load a project because I was just about to do a, a video on the actual Amigo and a bit of production in there as promised um, as before uh, but what's happened is I've gone to load the song up and I've found that on my actual Amigo tracks I'm getting this message that says file not found so I kind of find it a little bit disappointing that it doesn't sort of self-contain the sample in the state that it's in and when by that what i mean is you load a sample in i feel that it should hold the sample in memory like for example if i go to another project here that i'll show you and i go to my amigo 2 version here uh, and i've done a combination of tau and amigo and if you look here the samples still remain in Tau sampler regardless of the fact that you know I've saved the song etc um, but look all of my Amigo samples are missing now I'm assuming it's coming from maybe a folder that's been deleted but I don't remember deleting any folders now that's a bit of a bug anyway I'll play the song so far what I've done and uh, yeah, strange. And that's oh, that's another thing as well. With certain samples, they tend to play on when you press stop and I haven't quite found a way to cancel the sample like say for example if you've got a breakdown look I'll show you what I mean the sample doesn't stop playing right that's what I'm talking about right check this out let's go to here like that And normally what you do in Renoise to cancel that would be to just mute the track straight after the breakdown. So let me try and find the track where it's actually doing that. Oh, excuse me guys, let me get this right. So no matter what I do, you see that raw track, that raw break there, yeah? It's kind of cancelled at the end of it. Look, the track's actually muted, as you can see. Those who use Renoise would know that all you have to do to mute something is just click on the track like that, and it will mute the track. Now, weirdest thing, I've tried everything. I've tried, like, an old Amiga trick, even, where you would just get, say, an empty instrument. Now, we've got plenty of them now because of this little error. So, in theory, when I play this it should actually play nothing which it's doing now right so we're not getting any sound there so in theory uh, let me just make this unique and then I'm gonna get rid of this track and then I'm actually gonna put a z uh, an instrument here with nothing because that's how you do it if you had an Amiga right so that's gonna in theory cancel out any instruments that would be playing so I'm gonna try it again and show you So there's no way of like chopping that sample out completely. Uh, maybe there's a volume command on here, probably that I'm missing. There's a volume here, so 40. So maybe I can try automating the volume, but it's a bit sort of tedious. So I'd like to see a feature where that's improved because uh, the same sort of thing in Tau Sampler would work totally fine. Look. Okay, so here's a towel sampler, same scenario, different song. And watch how I've managed to just press the mute here and just literally chop the amen off. See, 
see nice and clean yeah Hmm, yeah, nice and clean, unlike the chalk ice spilt on your shirt, B. <laughs> so guys, I'd love to see a quick fix way of doing that for the Amigo. Comment down below if you know a way that I can do it. Guys, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show you a solution that I figured out for this same problem. And also this file not, not found thing. Ah, oh, I have no idea. There isn't even like an indication of what sample it's actually needing so that's a problem at least if there's a reference i could find the sample and reload it so wow man i've got a bit of a problem now because that means all the work that i've used done with this song now is now kind of down the toilet the only indication i could see up here is i've got a reese here look so on three i had a reese base so maybe i could just load the re-space right so here's my amiga folder amigo there's a reeve mass is that it yeah i think that's it right <laughs> okay that's uh sounding out of tune i'm not sure if it's that ah Okay, so I've got that back. I'm going to save it now, right? Save song as Amigo 2. So I'm overwriting it, right? Now I'm going to cancel it down and I'm going to load it again and see what happens. That's really bizarre. Now the Reese is back again. Weird. So what's this one? So now I'm going to have to go through it and find it. I really don't know what this problem is. Uh, Potenza, DSP, uh, Steco, if you're listening, be good to get some feedback on that. Holler at your boy. If you're liking this content and getting anything out of it, guys, please smash that like button. you really be helping our channel out massively to grow to our goal. Right, I'm going to show you another example of where the beat or the Amigo sample sound doesn't cut out while it's playing which is a bit of a jar for when you're programming uh, the only way out of this is to export the whole track into audio and then maybe you're like in cubase and then chop it check this out pretty messy i'd love to see that improved man Okay, so I've got a little ragga sample missing from here, and I don't know what that ragga sample is, man. So, I really don't know how I'm going to figure this one out, really. Uh, very, very tricky. Can't remember it. Should have exported the song out. That might have been a good reference. Give me an idea of what sample that is, because normally when I'm working on tracks, I might uh, work on a track, as far, get it as far as I can get it and uh then i would save it and then come back to it at a later date and then it gives you that kind of fresh ears um experience so if you want to know a little bit about that guys you know a bit more in detail um do let me know in the comments down below if you, and let me know what videos you'd like to see next popping out of here okay folks i found a walk around um it's a little bit tricky well it's not tricky it's quite straightforward um but you know it takes a little bit of work but you know it will do for now until obviously there's an update of some kind that will uh, cater for this uh, functionality but check this out so all you got to do is you've got to go to your automation you select your volume turn that on and then on the track that you you know the block or whatever that you want to mute when it comes in like which will be here for example so i've got my raw break playing all the way here and then i want it to stop here right so what i'll do is as you can see it will play uh, just before that now so you so you turn your volume on like so and take it off of line yeah because you don't want to be creating like lines lined automation you just need it to be straight uh, points like this yeah and obviously you want it exactly as it is 0 DB and then take the block to where you want it to where you want it to chop and then all you do is you do exactly the same thing again you're gonna have to put your double click your lines or whatever and then just make it to zero and that will do exactly what we were trying to do check it out okay. 
so that's the walk around for now nice and clean guys uh, can't really go wrong with that comment down below if you've got another solution uh yeah big up to the amigo crew nice one